51. And we've also had uh, the numbers published by the ONS, that's the Office for National um, Statistics, they've given us an overview of the number of people who excess deaths, the number of people who have died over and beyond um, any given year, why people are dying outside any given setting. Let me go through those numbers with you. The, they show an increase of, um, on previous years. 14,530 people died in England and Wales in the week to the 23rd of December. That's the highest amount during any week last year. And when we compare that to averages from previous years, it means nearly 2,500 more people died than expected. So that's for the one week alone. But over the past six months, the total number of excess deaths is over 30,000 in England and Wales. There have been exactly 8,000 deaths due to COVID in that period. And if we exclude those from the total, it means there's been an extra 22,040 deaths not caused by COVID in the past six months alone. That's equivalent to 848 a week. Remember too, Sarah Jane, we have that warning from the Royal College of Emergency Medicine that these excess death figures, which are a really good indicator of, of uh, what's happening with the state of the nation in, in terms of what we would expect to see in any given year or in any given period with surges in flu and COVID and everything else, how many people are dying beyond that period? And we had the warning from the Royal College of Emergency Medicine that they were suggesting that up to 500 people a week were dying um, more than they should have been because of the NHS pressures. And, and that's been disputed by the government and by the NHS saying that it, it doesn't think up to 500 more people have died because of those pressures. But that's certainly what the Royal College of Emergency Medicine is telling us. But these figures from the ONS suggesting that um, we have seen a, a, a large increase in the number of excess deaths than we would expect to see according to the yearly averages. <laughs>